Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here with thebtccourse.com. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at buying, selling, sending and receiving Bitcoin on Cash App. Now, along the way, I'll point out some different features and also discuss with you whether I think Cash App is a good app for buying Bitcoin. So let's just go ahead and get straight into it. Now, as you can see, I have Cash App loaded up already and I've already connected my debit card to Cash App. That's how you fund your Cash App account. And one good thing about funding your account with a debit card is that you don't have to wait any period of time before you can send your Bitcoin. So some apps, if you buy Bitcoin, you have to wait like five, seven days in order for your cash to clear before you can go ahead and send that Bitcoin out of the exchange. Whereas with Cash App, you could connect your debit card, buy Bitcoin and send it all within five minutes of creating your account. So that's one of the good things about Cash App is there's no waiting period for your, your funds to clear the banking system. All right, so when you're on the home screen and you click on that little home button down there, you should see the option for Bitcoin. So I'll just go into that. And a lot of this is pretty self-explanatory, but over here on the top right, we could go ahead and tap on that. And that's how you could go ahead and send Bitcoin either on chain or through Lightning. So Cash App supports the Lightning Network, which is pretty awesome. And we'll cover this a little bit more later on in this video. But yeah, it does both on-chain Bitcoin and Lightning. So good, that's a, a plus for Cash App. We have the amount of our portfolio. So we have it in, fee, in our dirty, nasty fiat amount. And then we have our Bitcoin amount. And then, you know, the current price of Bitcoin in fiat, you know, the da daily change, we got a nice little graph here. We could change the graph by tapping on different uh, time frames, time periods. So pretty self-explanatory stuff. We get to buy, sell, send and receive, which we're gonna cover in greater detail in just a second here. We could also deposit Bitcoin to our Cash App app. So you could send Bitcoin over here and sell it if you want to, or store it on Cash App. But you probably wanna send your Bitcoin to cold storage uh, because that's the safest place for it. Even though I trust Cash App, I'd rather have my Bitcoin in cold storage. And I have lots of videos on cold storage if you're interested in that. But if you wanted to, you could send it here to sell. Uh, they also are advertising their, their cash card where you could earn a Bitcoin boost. I don't know much about that, but I mean, I'm sure it explains it on their website. And then just some general information, some articles and so on. So Anyway, let's get into the core of this video, which is buying Bitcoin. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on buy. And right now we're set up on one time order. And so this is pretty self-explanatory. Basically, uh, we want to buy Bitcoin one time. So let's say I want to buy $10 worth of Bitcoin. I just tap on 10, go to next, face ID. And then it gives us the information for our order. So I'm gonna be paying with my debit card again, so it clears instantly and I can send it. So that's awesome. Our exchange rate right here and the amount of Bitcoin I'm gonna go ahead and receive. The amount of Bitcoin I'm buying $9.78 because they charge a 22 cent fee right here. Now, Cash App charges fees on their transactions. However, they have a very, very, very small spread. So some companies, they'll say that they don't have any fees However, their spread, like instead of the, like let's say Bitcoin's uh, valued at 22,000 flat, like they might charge like 22,500 or so. Uh, they'll have a, a fee, a, a hidden fee marked up in the spread. Whereas Cash App has a very, very low spread. So they're not trying to hide their fees. So they're basically all these Bitcoin companies are making money somehow. They might make it in the spread. They might make it by requiring a fee or they might have a combination of spread and fee to make their money. Cash App, they tell you their fee right up and have a really low spread. So just because they have this fee here doesn't mean that it's going to cost you more to use Cash App than one of the free apps. The free apps, they're making money on the spread. So when I've compared Cash App to other Bitcoin purchasing tools, Cash App is right up there near the top on the amount of Bitcoin you'll get for the price you'll get. Like I'm spending $10. And so this is a good amount of Bitcoin for $10 compared to other places that I might buy Bitcoin. So Cash App is just being open and upfront saying, hey, we charge 22 cents, whereas other companies hide it. So just want to point that out there. Don't let the fee throw you off. You also got to pay attention to that spread. So anyway, I'd go ahead and tap on confirm then. And now I've purchased my Bitcoin. So there we go. I can go ahead and tap on done then. 
And there we go. So that's how easy it is to buy Bitcoin on Cash App. But let's go back in to buy real quick because there's a couple other options. So I just did one time order, but if we tap on change order type, we have two other types. We can auto invest or dollar cost averaging. So we can set up automatic daily, weekly, or bi-weekly purchases of Bitcoin. And of course, dollar cost averaging is a tried and true investing strategy. Typically, it'll lower your cost basis if you dollar cost average. And plus, you know, it's easier to spend, you know, $10 a day versus, you know, $1,000 all at once. More than likely, you can come up with $10 a day, whereas saving up to get $1,000 is, is a harder thing to do. Uh, but anyway, auto invest, we'll go into there real quick. So one-time purchase, which we just did, but there's daily, weekly, every two weeks. So it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll just tap on daily and do done down here. And then we have to do a minimum of $10. So we tap on that, we'd go to next. It gives us our order details right here. And we would just go ahead and click on confirm. And that would go ahead and set up the dollar cost averaging daily buy of $10. So pretty simple, self-explanatory. Let me come back out and go to buy and change the order type one more time. And we have custom purchase order here. So this is pretty cool. Uh, most of the other tools that I've used don't have this feature, whereas Cash App does. So this is another win for Cash App and why I like Cash App. But automatically buy Bitcoin if it reaches a price you choose. Custom purchase orders can be used to buy Bitcoin if its price falls to falls or to catch the wave if its price rises. So I'll tap on that option. And so it's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, so this is the current price of Bitcoin. And then I can take my finger and drag up. Well, this is down, obviously. Drag down. So if it drops to, you know, below 20,000, I want to go ahead and buy. Or maybe if I'm like, oh man, it's ramping up. Maybe if it ramps up to 25, 580, then I think it's going to 100,000. So I'm going to set a buy right here. So you can just move, you know, easily drag this wherever you see fit. Tap on set. And then how much Bitcoin would you want to buy? And you just basically go through the same process as doing a one-time buy. So I'm not gonna go through that again because pretty self-explanatory at this point and I don't wanna get too repetitive. But I just wanted to show you that that's a pretty cool feature and it's real easy to use. So that's buying Bitcoin. How about selling Bitcoin? Well, let's tap into there and see what they got. So similar to buying, they have the one-time order option. So we could go ahead and select how much bit Bitcoin we wanna sell. So let's just say $9 and next. And then we get the details of selling our $9 worth of Bitcoin, similar to buying it. And there is a fee on the back end, but again, that the, the spread is very, very, very small and they're just showing you their fee. So it's again, good rates to sell on Cash App, but I'm not gonna sell any Bitcoin because I want as much Bitcoin as possible. So I'm not gonna hit confirm on this. I'm just gonna back out of here. I think you get the idea of how, to, how you'd sell it. There's another option under sell. So I'm gonna go back in there and I'm gonna change our order type. And we have a custom sell order. So automatically sell Bitcoin if it reaches a price you choose. Custom sell orders can be used to help limit losses if its price drops or to capture profits as if it rises. So again, this could be very handy in kind of protecting your nest egg um, or cashing out You know, if Bitcoin goes on a run. So similar to the purchase, you just drag this line right here wherever you wanna set it. So, you know, I think Bitcoin drops to $21,200. Well, then I think it's gonna to drop to $16,000. So I'm basically gonna set like a stop loss here. Like, yeah, I don't want it to drop below this. So sell it if it hits that and, you know, I'll call it a day. Or if I think Bitcoin's gonna shoot up, maybe I set my sell order for, you know, $26,620, a 20% gain where if it hits that, then I wanna sell it because I think it'll just hit that and come right back down. You know, there's different strategies and whatnot, but it's pretty intuitive. You just drag this thing up and down wherever you want. It tells you how much money you're gonna get out of it and so on. So pretty user-friendly, clean tool. Uh, I'm not gonna go through with it, obviously, because again, trying to keep as much Bitcoin as possible, but I think you get the idea. Up next, we have this one, which I think is an airplane. We can tap on that and we got the option to send Bitcoin or receive Bitcoin. So let's go to send real quick. And so I can say how much Bitcoin I wanna send right here. So if I do $10 and tap on send and I could go ahead and send to people on Cash App. So I could type their name, cash tag, or plug in a Bitcoin address. So 
If you have a wallet somewhere, a hardware wallet, for example, you can go ahead and put that in there and you can go ahead and send your Bitcoin to your hardware wallet. But I'm gonna back out of here right now because there's another option as well, which is this square right here, which again loads up the camera so you can scan a QR code. So you can scan a Bitcoin or Lightning QR code. And so I generated a QR code with one of my Lightning wallets. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan that real quick. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna send myself $10.04 to my Lightning wallet. You can see there's no fees because I'm doing a Lightning transaction. Again, Cash App supports both Bitcoin on-chain, which there would be a fee because you're going on-chain and on-chain has fees that you need to pay. You need to pay the miners uh, to get into those blocks and so on. If you're unfamiliar with the blockchain, I have a video that explains the mempool that I recommend you check out. It'll give you more information on fees and things like that. But on the Lightning Network, there are little to no fees. So that's why there's no fees. It's free to do a Lightning transaction. And this brings me to another point. Right here, I'm doing a Lightning transaction, which has little to no fees and also does not create a UTXO or unspent transaction output. And so if you're gonna do an on-chain transaction, say sending Bitcoin to a hardware wallet, then please watch my UTXO video first. Link in the description down below because it could help you save a lot on fees. All right, moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on pay. And so there we go, I've paid my invoice, so I'll tap on done. And just like that, I've sent Bitcoin outside of Cash App. Now, one last thing, we can tap into here and we can go ahead and tap on receive Bitcoin. And it generates a funky QR code that I think only works with Cash App. So if you have another Cash App user, where you want to receive Bitcoin from them, then this may be an option. But if not, get out of here and then scroll down to deposit Bitcoin right here. So tap on that. And now you'll get an, an address that you can deposit to and also a Lightning Network address that you can deposit to. And so now you can go ahead and receive Bitcoin just like you normally would. Uh, you just would send it to this address or if you're doing it on a Lightning Network, you send it to this one right here and hopefully you know what to do with it once you have those addresses. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close this. And so that pretty much covers how to buy, sell, send, and receive Bitcoin within Cash App. And again, I think Cash App is a great app for buying Bitcoin. So if you want to check it out, I have a link in the description down below where we both get $5. So that's kind of cool. But anyway, if you found this video helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or please check out the btccourse.com. I have free training on there and I'll answer questions and things like that. It's just me trying to do my small part to help out Bitcoin. And that's it for this video. I hope you have a great rest of the day.